Hi, welcome back to All My Yankee Candles, part 9. This is the letter H, every single Yankee candle I own, A to Z. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm going to get back and do a few of them fairly quickly. Lots to get through, so without any further ado, this is no detail, no description, scent notes, anything like that. Just a quick whiz through of every Yankee candle I own. So let's go, H. We will start with Hollyberry. Hollyberry. This is actually, it's more clove than anything else. It's a beautiful Christmas scent. I love burning this at Christmas. If you love clove, you'll love Hollyberry. All things Christmas and clovey in a jar. So there we go. Next one. This one's getting a bit low. It's the only one I've got. It's Honey Clementine. Honey Clementine came out probably four years ago now. This was an autumn candle. It's very, um, it's got that citrus freshness of oranges in it. And it's, as you'd expect, it's laced with a warm honey. It's not like a cold honey or an artificial honey. It's like warm honey drizzled over an orange. It's very, very nice. Enjoy burning that one. Honey Clementine. Okay, then we have Home for the Holidays. Home for the Holidays is a Christmas classic. Um, it had a label when it first came out that was different to this one. This one's quite cute, but the original label was even better. Home for the Holidays. It's just Christmas. Everything Christmas. A slight spiciness. Again, it's got that touch of clove. Sweetness, greens, all that kind of stuff. Just like sitting next to the Christmas tree on Christmas Day. Home for the holidays. Fantastic. Okay. A new one for 2020. Homemade Herb Lemonade. I've talked about this one recently in a video, so I'll quickly skim through it. But, oh my goodness, it's heavenly. It's a summer's day, sitting out in your garden with um, a jug of lemonade on ice. And a touch of herbs blowing in from your herb garden or whatever. It's lovely. Homemade herb lemonade. Right, whizzing over here. We have another Christmas one. This one is Holiday Lights. This one came out about a year or two ago. And it's very different. Doesn't really smell like Christmas. This is bright and perfumey and kind of uh, like a lady's perfume almost. With a touch of not really much of the seasonal about it. It's just bright, cheerful. Switching on your Christmas lights, kind of out for a winter's evening more than anything else, I'd say that one, looking at people's Christmas lights. So there we go, let's go over here. And next one is Harvest Pumpkin Wood. This was, um, this kind of label is a US outlet candle label. Uh, I think QVC also sold some of these, if not this particular one, but um, these aren't part of the main Yankee candle range. I don't have too many of these. Harvest Pumpkin Wood. And it's, um, if you know what pumpkin, Yankee Candle pumpkin scent smell like, this is like a Yankee Candle pumpkin scent with a hint of spice. It's very nice. Not the strongest one. Again, it's an outlet candle. doesn't smell the strongest. I haven't lit it yet, but that's Harvest Pumpkin Wood. Not really so much on the woodsiness, more on Harvest Pumpkin, I'd say, on that one. And from Harvest Pumpkin Wood, we go to Harvest Itself. Now, this one has, with the, all the different corns on there, this has to be one of my favourite labels, I think, of um, all time. And beautiful wax colour, of course. Harvest. Again, like Hollyberry. Hollyberry is probably the Christmas version of this, I'd say. It's full on clove. Gathering in the harvest. It's got autumn scents in there too, but it's underpinned by beautiful, rich clove aroma. So for clove lovers and uh, Yankee Candle label lovers, Harvest, I would say, is a must. Okay, next one we go. Christmas again. Lots of Christmases under H. This is Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Uh, quite often I burn this one on Christmas morning because it just smells like everything good about Christmas morning. You've got a, a fruit punch on the go, you've got sweets, you've got presents, you've got trees on. It just smells like Christmas morning with, you know, sweets and candies and beautiful greenery and everything everywhere. So, happy Christmas. There we go. Long way to go because it's only January at the moment, but there we go. Uh, this is more my kind of thing. Let's go back. Let's get let's get dark. Let's get ready for the winter season. Forget summer. Who needs it? Harvest welcome, and a contender for the best Yankee Candle label of all time. I hope that comes out fairly clearly. There, I will give you a little lingering look at that. Harvest welcome, and also one of the strongest Yankee candles ever made. This one really packs a punch and blows the walls down. It's like heavy spiced. Um, with a touch of sweetness, really strong kind of mixture of almost Indian spices. There's ginger ginger, and all sorts in there. It's just really heady, heavy, spicy candle. If you don't like heady, heavy, spicy candles, don't go near it. If you do, you'll love it. One of the strongest ever made, that one. And we will stick with Halloween for a second. And Haunted Hayride, that was new for last year. Haunted Hayride is a beautiful scent. It's like being out in the open forest on an autumn night. 
absolutely lovely. Um, I've got some crumble in there. I think that's from some leftover tea lights. I haven't let the jar yet, but the tea lights packed a punch as well. It's beautiful. A crisp autumn night uh, near Halloween is Haunted Hayride. Very, very nice indeed. Okay, let's go. We're jumping between Halloween and Christmas alternately here. And here we go again. Holiday home sweet home. Holiday home sweet home. Uh, again, another contender for one of my favourite labels ever. So a slightly lingering look on that one. Holiday Home Sweet Home. It's Home Sweet Home with a festive twist. It's Home Sweet Home with kind of pe uh, pine or cedar or whatever in there. So very nice, lovely label. Love the scent. Holiday Home Sweet Home. Still got about eight to get through, so I'll keep whizzing through. This one here is a tumbler. This one is Haunted Hollow. I wish and pray and hope and dream one day Yankee Candle will release Haunted Hollow in a jar. It's my favourite Halloween fragrance of all time. I only have limited quantities of it. I love it. It's so incensey and spicy, it's like a bonfire and the mystery of the witch's cauldron in there and it had etching on the inside of the glass and it's got a, oh, it's got a spooky lid. I, I, I love it, I want it in a big jar, oh, please Yankee Candle one day, Haunted Hollow, love it, my favourite Halloween fragrance ever. Uh, let's go to the season that's about to come, spring and hydrangea. Now hydrangeas don't smell so this is a fantasy fragrance, a lovely lilac colour there. And a kind of, I think that's the blue hydrangea, but it's kind of like just coming into its um, early spring colour there. And hydrangea, it's one of those powerful, I've heard from people I haven't burnt mine yet, that it's really powerful. It's a powerful, strong, sharp spring floral. Again, a knock your socks off floral, probably not too far dissimilar to lilac blossoms and things like that, if you know that one, but that's hydrangea. It's like a... Not quite as heady as lilac blossoms, but just as strong, I think. That's my drain. Okay, where do we go now? We go back again, kind of autumn pre-Christmas with hot buttered rum. Hot buttered rum um, is full-on butterscotch. Uh, it smells like butterscotch cake, butterscotch ice cream, possibly a touch of alcohol in there, a bit of smokiness, but yeah, it's butterscotch. Hot buttered rum. Four to go. And here's another fairly new one, or re-release anyway for last year as part of the Sunday Brunch Collection, Sun Honey Lavender Gelato. And Honey Lavender Gelato, I wish it was stronger, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's soft, clean, fresh, slight ice cream touch with just a delicate touch of lavender over it. It's absolutely exquisite, this one. Really like the fragrance. Um, it's not the strongest one in the world, but it's absolutely beautiful. As many of the light Yankee candles are, they get a bad press. Some of the lightest janky candles have some of the most exquisite scents, and Honey Lavender Gelato is no exception to that. Three to go. Christmas. <laughs> Holiday Sage. Here we go. A different, completely unique Christmas scent. Holiday Sage is sharp, sparkling eucalyptus mixed with herbs, and it's bright, it's outdoors, but it's not, it's not like the piney, cedary green. It's, as I say, sharp and... Almost minty, but very, very unique. Fully herby, holiday sage. Unique Christmas fragrance there. Back to Halloween one more time. A Halloween farewell with Happy Halloween. Uh, one of its, I think it came out two or three times with slightly different labels. Happy Halloween. It's full on aniseed. Uh, if you remember Blackjack Sweets, which I certainly do from when I was a kid, it smells like Blackjack Sweets. Aniseed in a candle. Happy Halloween. Very nice. That's always why I always have a Halloween film stack and this is the one I always finish up on late at night. Happy Halloween every year. That'll keep me going for a few years, one burn a year. Last one is Home Sweet Home. The classic itself. Much prefer the original label. I don't like the contemporary one. This one's more a classic, welcoming, luxurious, enveloping. But as lovely Rosa from QVC always says, it's getting home, putting your feet up, tea and biscuits. Cakes, uh, slightly spiced cinnamon cakes, tea and biscuits. I love Home Sweet Home. It's a classic. And there it is. That's my H's. Thanks for watching. I will be back with the next part soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.